Well, I just zoomed it. Me unzoom it. How y'all doing? But the Isaac here. Let me tell y'all something. I just got home. It's pretty late in the evening. It's about, according to the sun, about 4.56. But anyway, me and my daughter went to the Spoon Bread Festival today. And uh, I've got a couple of videos up. They ain't very long, like two minutes or so. Maybe almost three minutes. But just kind of, huh, just kind of giving you a little insight, you know. While I was there, I, I tried my first spoon bread. Wasn't too bad. Might need just a tad bit of salt. And, uh, but uh, it, it was pretty good. At first I tasted of it and I was like, what in the world? But I couldn't stop eating it. And you put a little honey on it, a little butter. Oh, man. You gotta get down there. Spoon bread festival happens in Berea, Kentucky. And I think it's the second weekend of September. Right around that time. And, uh, it ain't bad. And there was so many vendors set up, man. They had food for days. I love to go to these festivals just because of the food. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. That's hard to beat. Big chili dog or a big pulled pork sandwich or something like that. Oh, man, that's so good. But, yeah, we had a we had a really good time. They had live music. And uh, I think my, my daughter, she bought some wax melts and uh, some kind of poppet thing and I bought food and something to drink and some more food and, well, you know me. I'm a foodaholic. I love food. Oh, man. But we're going to do so. Try to do another video tomorrow or maybe the next day of uh, the uh, Jackson County, Kentucky. We're going to drive up there to the Welcome Center. Now, apparently the Welcome Center is haunted and uh, we're going to try to Bring y'all a little information on that tomorrow, and we're gonna do a live, do a video from the location of the Welcome Center of Jackson County, and uh, give you a little brief history about it. And it's just amazing some of the things that you can find out if you talk to the right people. But anyway, you know, I love this haunted history stuff, and you know, stuff like that. And it's, it's hard to beat. Ain't nothing like being scared. I'm in the process of getting me a tent, so when I get that, we're gonna. We're gonna set up a nighttime video and we're actually gonna stay down in this holler somewhere and see if we can't catch us a uh, glimpse of the Sasquatch. Or at least hear it. And uh, different things coming. But anyway, we had a good time today at the Spoon Bread Festival. I mean, it was it was really fun. And I had a lot of people ask, man. It's like this one girl, she comes along and she says, I told her about my YouTube channel and all this stuff, and and the lady was really nice, and they gave us a couple of brochures, and I might check that out, you know what I'm saying? And, huh. But, yeah, I love getting out like that, and everybody needs to get out and just kind of forget about what's going on in the world and go out and have some fun, but do it safe, you know what I'm saying? Do it how you feel comfortable, do it safe. Social distance like Sasquatch and, you know, don't get right up in a big crowd of people and all that stuff. Just kind of, and you can have fun. And, but we want to, we want to have fun and we want to be safe doing it. And, uh, we had a good time today. Man, we got out of there before the big crowd came. We like to go, we go to these festivals, we go early. That's just like in four weeks. Four weeks I will be in Beattyville, Kentucky at the Woolly Worm Festival. I have yet to find a woolly worm to do my winter predictions, but I am still looking, frantically. And uh, I actually went walking there a while ago, up down the road before I went to the festival down there in Berea, Kentucky, and uh, couldn't find no woolly worm. And But I will, I'll find one. And uh, hopefully I can find one in time to enter the woolly worm races. All these woolly worm races, they're awesome to watch, okay? You know, pull one of them up and watch it, that's something else. Ain't nothing like being there live, though. Beattyville, Kentucky. I can't wait. I think it's the, I think it's the second weekend in October. I believe it is. I think it's like, I think it's the 22nd. Starts on the 22nd. 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, I believe. But I'm going to be right there in the middle of it. Oh, man. Well, I'm going to get up off here. I am more slick out. 
and I'm going to the house and I'm going to rest for a while. I just want to stop in here and do a quick video and I want to thank all the people that, uh, they was, people were so nice down there. I didn't see anybody that wasn't, wasn't hateful. I mean, you know, everybody was nice and uh, that's what it takes. And a lot of people see me carrying my camera around. They're like, who are you? What do you do? Well, I'm just an average guy that likes to do some YouTube videos. <laughs> so, and, uh, but you want to get attention, just take a camera around. But that's okay because y'all know I love it. But, but y'all take care of each other and call each other up every now and then. Say, hey man, how you doing? Believe me, it will do a world of good. But this is Buddy Isaacs, and y'all take care of yourself and each other, and I'll see you in, eh, probably tomorrow or the next day. And I'm out.